in this video we will discuss the axis of astigmatism the refinement of cylindrical axis that we normally prescribe in astigmatic patients i would like to share practical observation that axis of both eyes corresponds to each other symmetrically in majority of the cases like if right eye has got 90 degree axis in majority of the cases left eye will also be having 90 degree or nearer axis now if one eye has got 180 degree axis the other eye will also be having 180 degree axis or within 10 degree axis of either 170 to 10 degree you practically observe this trend a lot during practical reflection now apart from that you will observe two patterns the symmetric patterns that if there are two deviations that if right eye has cell at 50 degree like shown here the left eye will be having axis at 130 degree <clears throat> now both pointing towards each other both same distance apart from 90 degree if you recall you will diagnose this pattern now another example if right eye has one th 30 degree axis where the patient sees clearly the left eye will be having 50 degree or nearby axis again is again symmetry not asymmetry but symmetry now in the third if right eye has axis at 170 degree little bit away from the 180 degree then the other eye in majority of the cases will be having 10 degree axis simply put both eyes axis will be at same distance from 90 degree and 180 degree in majority of the patients <clears throat> so that's one th trend now the next trend is same axis trend in both eyes like 50 degree axis of cylinder in right and left eye in the second example 130 degree axis in both eyes and in the third example 20 degree axis in both eyes so if you know these two trends you don't have cross cylinder in majority of cases you will be able to refine your axis of the cylinder if you apply these examples <clears throat> and now i will show you eight practical examples now this first patient has hyperopic astigmatism both eyes at 90 degree if it's not exactly 90 degree it should be within the 10 degrees to each other now the second patient has myopic astigmatism already discussed symmetrical axis of 130 degree in the right eye and 50 degree in the left eye you can see both are symmetrical now the third patient has both axes facing each other symmetrically on the trial flame so if you find little deviation on autoref and patient is not happy with that you can apply this rule and patient may get clearer view when you face both axes each other or apart the fourth patient has got 180 degree axis both eyes we have already discussed that sometimes the astigmatic axis 
in both eyes will point to the same axis like in fifth patient axis is 140 degree in both eyes so that's due to the second trend we already discussed on the whiteboard now the sixth patient has got again hyperopic astigmatism at 180 degree you will see majority of such patients in your practice now the seventh patient is peculiar it has got one eye at 180 degree and the other at 90 degree now that's a strange trend <clears throat> so either it's an incorrect reading or you may find history of trauma surgically induced shift of uh, axis because it's very rare to have such a huge 90 degree difference of axis be between the two eyes so you should also look at the eyes you should examine and then diagnose because most of the times the axis corresponds between the two eyes now the eighth in eighth and last patient it has 50 degree axis both eyes so if you know that axis of both eyes follows each other then you can quickly refine your patient's cylindrical axis and save time while doing retinoscopy while doing subjective refraction Thank you very much.